And Travis Fulton does bring us that big body traditional X receiver that I've been asking for. So maybe this is that last end of the season showing where Jalen Hurts can show maybe what he can do if he has a traditional X receiver. And adding another playmaker to the office is just going to make things easier for Devonta Smith and Dallas Goddard. Yeah, yeah. another great episode of Samoa with the Spizzards. I'm Samoa bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're older and you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, and keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel that you love so much and to see the season. So go ahead and do that. And the second link is to shop the official Samoa with the Spizzards, a merch collection, get to the classic tea, the wavy tea, or the jail that make it hurt tea that I've been rocking lately. And y'all make sure you turn the notification bells on because the videos are coming live. Boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. So y'all, let's get into the topic today. So the bye week is over for the Eagles. It's time to get back in action. Hopefully them boys, birds, have been back in action. It's Tuesday, so they should have been back in action. We have a tough slate coming up next. Washington twice, Giants again, Dallas again. We lost to the Giants and we lost to Dallas. So those are two games we have to win, especially when it comes to uh, tie-breaking scenarios and all that. Uh, we need to definitely sweep Washington if we want to have any hopes of um, making the playoffs. We really, our goal should be going 4-0 because it's a lot of teams that we're running and gunning with in the hunt, but Washington is directly one of those teams who have to beat them. But y'all, this is where we come into the news for today. So, it was recently reported yesterday that the Miami Dolphins waived our former guy, Travis Fulgham, from their practice squad, which begs the question, should the Eagles sign Travis Fulgham for the remainder of the year? And the biggest reason why that question is coming up, one, is because Travis Fulgham was, of course, a fan favorite of the Eagles fans and we felt like Travis Fulgham didn't get his due diligence when Alshon Jeffrey came back when Alshon Jeffrey came back they forced him into the starting lineup and pretty much pushed Travis Fulgham back even though Travis Fulgham was really well he was the most productive receiver <laughs> take that as you will for the Eagles last season and they really kind of did man's dirty so it was reported Yesterday, that Quez Watkins is now moved to the injured reserve and also Jason Huntley. So Quez Watkins being moved to the injured reserve means that the only playmakers that the Eagles are going to have on offense is Devonta Smith, Dallas Goddard, J.J. Gonzaga, Greg Ward, and Jalen Rager. Now, we know what that sounds like, a mess, but Devonta Smith and Dallas Goddard have been the only real productive people in um, our office. So we haven't been getting anything, obviously, from Rager. We haven't been getting anything from um, Ortega. Some blocking here and there. A first down catch here and there every other three games. Um, and then Greg Ward, we haven't been getting much production from him. So it wouldn't hurt at all for us to add Travis Fulgham. I mean, the only thing he can do is be better than already what we had. And Travis Fulgham is a guy who's already familiar with Philly, who's already familiar with, well, the offense isn't really the same, but he's familiar with a lot of the players already, a lot of the guys on the line, Jalen Hurts. So he's somebody who can come in and add some familiarity. And a lot of people were saying, well, not a lot of people, some people on Twitter were saying, um, you know, oh, they didn't want, I mean, what has Travis Fulgham done outside of those highlight games. I think his highlight game last season was against um, Pittsburgh. But, first of all, we're in the home stretch where we're really just trying to piece something together to make a playoff push. So, adding Travis Fulgham can't hurt. It's the same case of us adding Jordan Howard. Jordan Howard is an old, serviceable vet that just works well with Philly. Like, for anybody, Jordan Howard may say he's about to retire until we call him up. For anybody else, Jordan Howard is trash. But for some reason, in the city of brotherly love, Jordan Howard is a treasure. It's probably the same for Travis Fogum, just because the Dolphins and whatever couldn't. And, if, and Travis Fogum was a sleeper before he even boomed with us. Remember, Travis Fogum was bouncing around. Travis Fogum was 26 years old. He came to 
us when he was 25. He was bouncing around practice squads, bouncing around inactive rosters before we found him and we were able to utilize him. So he just got to be utilized right. Like, we didn't find Travis Fogel when he was already had a star-studded resume. We gave him that four or five game resume. He played well with us and he can continue to play well with us. It works like Jordan Howard works for us. He don't work for nobody else. Just because Travis Fulton didn't pan out with the Dolphins don't mean does not mean that he can't pan well without with us again. So I wanna go through so last season Travis Fulton played 13 games with us. And that was his second year in the league. The year before, he was with the Detroit Lions. Um, last year, he, like I said, he played 13 games. He started eight. Remember I said in the end of the season, Alshon Jeffrey came back healthy, and they did uh, they did Travis a little bit dirty and moved him out. Now, um, Travis Holmes saw 67 targets. He had 38 receptions. Um, averaged about 14 yards per reception. He had four touchdowns. Um, his longest touchdown was 42 yards. He had 539 yards, and like I said, he was our most productive um, receiver last year. And when it comes to yards per target, he had eight yards per target. And yeah, so I think that we're in, like I said, there's no way else that we can improve our roster right now except for the wave of Ryder. And Travis Fogan is a guy that we wanted, a lot of fans wanted in the beginning of the season. We wanted to re-sign Travis Fogan. And Travis Fogan does bring us that big body, traditional X receiver that I've been asking for. So maybe this is that last end of the season showing where Jalen Hurts can show maybe what he could do if he has a traditional X receiver. And adding another playmaker to the offense is just going to make things easier for Devonta Smith and Dallas Goddard because both of those guys won't be getting 100% of the attention. We'll have another playmaker in the offense in Travis Fogum. So, y'all, it can't hurt. You know what I'm saying? It only can help. So, let's bring Travis Fogum home. So, lastly, I wanted um, other Eagles news-wise. We done signed Matt McCain again, y'all. If you haven't been following on Twitter, like, first of all, Eagles Twitter is hilarious. Second of all, Eagles Twitter is hilarious when it comes to Matt McCain because what is going on, y'all? Like, this is the 15th time we've engaged in a transaction with Matt McCain. So we just need to figure out what we're doing. First of all, we got a billion young quarterbacks, cornerbacks, I'm sorry. We have a billion young cornerbacks that have not seen the field. Now I understand because, you know, our cornerbacks, our starting cornerbacks have been playing really well. And that's good that we haven't had to reach back to the depth chart. But at the same time, y'all, what are we doing with all these corners? Like, what are we really doing? But like I said, um, him so we waved him earlier to make room for the Raven Clark who we then signed to the active roster so then he would he went unclaimed for waivers you know the Broncos usually play him but they ain't playing him this time so back to the city of Brotherly Love so that's our transaction news for the week and our other news should we get TG13 back y'all let me know make sure you like this video leave a comment and keep rock with me turn notification bells on shop my merch and it's also to go.